What's up Blasters? In honor of Maintenance March, we are taking a closer look at your compressor and going over the checklist that should be done on a regular basis. Now I'm going to be going over general maintenance tips, so make sure to reference your individual owner's manual for service intervals relating to your specific compressor. Let's get started. Up first on our checklist is to make sure there aren't any obstructions in the compressor cover's heat vents. Any debris in the ventilation system needs to be removed immediately to keep your machine running smoothly. It's crucial to keep the radiator clean so that the ventilation air can pass freely through its fins. Clogged radiators will lead to dangerous overheating of the compressor and jeopardize the operation of the machine. We recommend checking the radiator fins regularly and cleaning them with compressed air or a jet of water under pressure. To prevent damage of internal parts, you'll want to check the compressor lubricant oil level the engine oil level, the coolant level, and the fuel level daily. Without proper lubrication, the engine and compressor will sustain damage. Top off each of these whenever necessary to their specification listed in your owner's manual. Now, if you're dry blasting, it's essential to check your air filters on the compressor and the engine daily due to the increased chances of your filters being clogged with dust. The most common reason for having reduced performance or for your compressor not starting up is due to clogged air filters. These filters should never be washed with water or cleaned out with compressed air due to the thin paper cartridge. If you can't simply remove dust by shaking it out, then the cartridge needs to be replaced. Again, this maintenance should be done daily if you're dry blasting, but if you're wet blasting, this maintenance can be done weekly. Make sure to check for leaks regularly as they can reduce performance and even be a fire hazard while using your machine. The last item on our checklist is to inspect the control panel indicator lights and gauges that monitor the compressor's health. This checklist, along with further instructions of how to execute regular maintenance procedures, can be found in your user and maintenance manual. Remember that routine maintenance is essential for the proper functioning of your machine and its durability over time. Check out the first 50 and 500 hour compressor maintenance kits available in the online store. And there you have it, so make sure to grab your checklist, keep up with your regular maintenance, and follow us along throughout the month of March for all things maintenance.